Shape Peak, and today we're going to be doing a back, bicep, and legs workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing nine exercises performed in tri-sets, which is three exercises to a set. We're going to do four sets of each tri-set. Our working time is 20 seconds. Our break time is 15 seconds. In between the different tri-sets, we'll then take a 30-second extended break. Since we only have a 20-second working time, be sure to go up in resistance and really push yourself today. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to be going into is reverse lunges. So get some space out in front of you. If you have hard floors, make sure you don't bang your knee down on the ground. So, what we're going to do here step back, come up, switch legs, just like that. Here we go. Good controlled movements. If you want to do kind of partial reps at first, that's totally fine. Just try to work down into a bigger step back, stretching out the hip, feeling it in the quads as you come up. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that chest out, head up, back nice and straight. Remember, this is go at your own pace. There we go. All right, next we're going into an alternating back stretch. So we're just going to be putting that arm out in front, pulling it across with the other hand, do the other side. Again, go at your own pace. If you want to kind of do them a little faster, you can. A little slower and hold, that's fine too. Don't forget to breathe. Next, we're going to be going into arm circles. There we go. So we'll start with some small circles and go larger. There we go. Feel everything stretch out on those shoulders, feel them warming up. There we go. If you want to reverse it, you can. Next, we're going to be going into a good morning exercise. We're going to be stretching out that lower back and hamstrings here. So, from here we're going to bend. Try to keep your back straight until about halfway through right here until you can't keep the back straight. And then bend the back, come down, come back up. So, I like to keep my back straight to here so I can stretch out my hamstrings. And then as I fully bend over, it stretches out my back there. Again, go at your own pace here. There we go, we'll get one more. All right, next we're gonna be going into toe touch. So we're just gonna kick up. And you can uh, touch the toe with the opposite hand. There we go. Try to keep your legs straight during this. We don't, uh, we don't wanna be going like this, doing that. Try to keep them relatively straight. Warm them up, go at your own pace. Here we go. Next, we're going into a high pull to the external rotation. So what we're going to do here is pull up, really squeeze those uh, traps, and then we're going to externally rotate <clears throat> at the shoulders. Come back down, pull up, and then externally rotate. Come back down, pull up, squeeze, externally rotate. Try to pull those hands back as far as you can. Here we go. One more. There we go. All right, we got about 20 seconds. Until we get started, we're gonna be going into bent over rows first. Grab some water real quick if you need. If you have bands, you can actually do your bent over rows on the ground. Dumbbells, we're kind of stuck doing them standing. That's okay. So keep that back nice and straight. Right here, come up, back down. There we go. If you have bands, you can definitely do them standing. It's just an option. There we go. If you have lower back problems, then what you can do is do a split stance. Just use one arm right here and do singles in every set switch. So you'll do two sets of left and then two sets of right. There we go. All right, next, we're going to be going into lateral lunge on the left side. So bands wrapping around that left foot. Dumbbells just hold a single. And we're going to come down, back up. We're going to stay on this left side this entire set here. There we go. And then down. And up. 
Good controlled movements. Try to come down as far as you can without having to bend that lower back. Try to get a little deeper each time. Let's get one more. There we go. We're just switching sides here. Lateral lunge, right side. <clears throat> There we go. And then down and up. It's okay if you're kind of leaning forward, as long as the lean is happening at the hips and not at the lower back. So try to keep your weight in your heels, chest out, head up. One more. There we go. Back and then over rows. Heating up already. There we go. Nice straight back. Coming up. Squeeze. Back down. There we go. Good controlled movements here. Come up. Squeeze. Back down. Up. Squeeze. Back down. Let's get one more. There we go. Doing great. Lateral lunge, left side. Couple seconds. Here we go. Make sure to keep your eyes up when you're doing this, because if you look down, you're gonna wanna bend at that lower back. We don't want that. Here we go. One more. Switching sides. Feeling that middle back get some work, huh? Oh yeah. There we go. Come on. You push him. Test yourself today. One more. There we go. Back and then over rows. Set three here. There we go. Keep pushing. Come on, keep pushing. Let's go. Here we go. Doing great. Keep that back nice and straight. Come on. One more. Lateral lunge, left side. Ooh. Got five seconds. If you got bands, make sure that when you're coming down and up, that your body is staying straight on these. It's easy to kind of let your body be pulled over by the band, so make sure to engage that core. There we go. One more. There we go. Lateral lunge, right side. Come on, keep pushing. Couple seconds. There we go. Chest out, head up. Lower back stays nice and straight. Try to keep the weight in the heels. There we go. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. One more. There we go. Last set right here. Bit over rows. Couple seconds, let's get ready. Come on. Come up, squeeze. Back down. Let's go. Push yourself. There we go. Last one. Bam. Great job. Lateral lunge, left side. 
<laughs> Not yet. We ain't done yet. Here we go. One more. I'm down. And uh, try to drop a little lower each rep here. Woo! Oh, yeah. Come on. Keep pushing. There we go. Right side. After this, we get a break. Here we go, a couple seconds. Come down and up. Down and up. Come on. Keep pushing. You got this. Let's go. One more. There we go. Way to push it. Probably right, a little 30 second break here. Next, we're going to be going into bicep curls, clean pulls, RDLs. For clean pulls, if you have bands, you're going to be standing on the band kind of out here, band on each side. You're going to hold one in. Or hold the center, I should say. Set it up. Bicep curls, palms facing out away from us. Curl up, back down. Here we go. Coming up and down. Up and down. Make sure on these that when you're coming down, you're not doing this. We don't want those elbows coming back when I'm staying by the side. There we go. All right, next we got clean pulls. So for clean pulls, dumbbells, single arm. From here, dumbbells are right in front of us, dropping down a little bit, coming up, pulling it up to the chest. Keep the hand nice and close to the body. Here we go. Dropping down, pulling up. Each uh, set, we'll switch sides. So we'll stay on this side, this entire set right here. Come on. Explode up with the legs. Pull. Pull. Here we go. All right, next we got RDLs. So for RDLs, bending at the hips and knees, slight bend, and the knees lock that in. From here, singing the butt back, hands stay close, coming up, back stay straight. Here we go. So notice how my lower back isn't bending. I'm not coming down like this and coming back up. We're not doing that. We're sinking the butt back right here, pulling back up straight. Don't forget to breathe. We go back into bicep curls. Set two. I'm breaking the sweat now. Here we go. Coming up, down, up, down. Good control movements. When you come up, squeeze those biceps. One more. Here we go. Clean pulls. Switching hands this time. Make sure to keep your hand nice and close to the body. Only pull it up to about here. Here we go. Dropping down. Up. Down. Up. When you come up, squeeze that trap. Squeeze the shoulder. So you kind of get a little shrug in here. There we go. Great job. RDLs. Keep pushing. A couple seconds. Let's get ready. Back nice and straight. Stretching out those hamstrings and then pulling back up straight. Good control movements. Keep the hands nice and close to the legs. There we go. Back in the bicep curls. I'm even going to go up to 40s for clean pulls and RDLs. All right. You should. Just kind of thinking there's a little light. 
for uh, RDLs for me. Here we go. Set three here. Come on, it's time to push it. Here we go, good controlled movements. Let's get one more. Wow, oh, you knew it, huh? Yeah. You knew it. I was waiting for it. Ah, there we go. Queen pulls. Choose the heavier one this time. It's time to push it. Here we go. Dropping down. Come on. Explode with those legs. Don't forget to breathe. One more. There we go. RDLs. Make sure that when you pick up your weights, you're picking them up with the legs with a nice straight back. Here we go. So drop them down, pick them up. Slide in the knees, coming down, back up. Make sure to keep that head up. When you're doing these right here, because when you look down, it's gonna wanna bend that lower back. We don't want that. Let's get one more. There you go, great job. All right, last set right here of this tricep. Three exercises, then you get a 30 second break. Here we go. Come on. Come on, squeeze. Back down. Come on. Keep pushing. Here we go. Clean pulls. Remember to switch sides on these. Couple seconds. Here we go. Drop down, explode. Explode through with the legs. Come on. One more. Great job. RDLs. After this one, 30 second break. And keep pushing yourself. Don't give up. If you have to take breaks, that's fine. Just get back into it as quick as possible. There we go. Keep the hands nice and close to the legs. Sink that butt back. There we go. One more. There we go. All right, 30 second break. We got hammer curls, reverse grip rows, and then sumo squats. For reverse grip rows, we're gonna do singles with that split stance. So every set we'll switch sides. Hammer curls, our palms are gonna be facing each other the entire time. We have no wrist movement. We're right here. Here we go. So palms are facing each other. Neutral wrist position. Here we go. Come up, squeeze. Back down. Up, squeeze. Back down. Here we go. Reverse grip rows. We're getting a split stance here. So bands have it under that front foot. You can do a uh, right arm. Yeah, singles. There you go. So right here, use the hand that's not being worked to uh, brace it on the knee or leg so you can brace that lower back. Also with this, I forgot to explain that. Your palm should be facing out away from you. Elbow tucked in. There we go. Sumo squats. So we're going to get our feet nice and wide here. Just like this. Point those toes at 10 and 2 or 11 and 1. Dropping down. Coming up. Here we go. Here 
Come on, drop down as far as you can. For me, that's not very far. <laughs> for Jen, it's much further. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Back in the hammer curls, set two. Remember, neutral wrist position, palms facing each other. Here we go, coming up and up and down. There we go. Push it out. Come on, keep going. Reverse rib rows. So, palms facing out towards our front, elbow stays close to the body here. It's not flaring out at all. Switching sides. So I'm right here, not like this. Palm is not facing me. It's facing out away, elbow tucked in. It's gonna work that lat right there. Come on. Pulling the weight up to our hip. And then back down. There we go, sumo squats. Keep pushing. Remember, don't give up. It's supposed to be tough. We're supposed to struggle. If you're breezing through this workout, if it's easy to you, you need to go up in resistance. There we go. Come on, keep that back nice and straight, chest out, head up. There we go. Set three here. Back into hammer curls. Come on, one more squeeze, and there we go. Breathe. Good control movements. One more squeeze. Back down. One more squeeze. Back down. Last one. There we go. Back to our original side on these reverse grip rows. Here we go. Hold it up and squeeze. Up. So you can see, we're pulling up and back. We're not just kind of going like this and pulling straight up. We're coming back to that hip, letting it hang in a neutral position. Let's get one more. There we go. Two more squats. If you have to take a break, that's fine. Just get back into it as quick as you can. Just don't give up. Here we go. Dropping down, coming up. Here we go. Feeling good. One more. Here we go. Step four here. Hammer curls. It's our last tricep right here. Here we go. Coming up and up and don't forget to breathe. Good controlled movements. Don't let those elbows kick back. One more. Here we go. Reverse grip rows. Remember to switch sides. Brace that lower back with the arm that's not being used. Palm facing out away, elbow tucked in. Here we go. So coming up and down. There we go. Doing great. Come on, keep pushing. Oh yeah. One more. Here we go. Two more squats and we're done. Way to push it. Come on. 
One more and we're finished. Those feet nice and wide. Let's go. Chest out, head up, weight in the heels. Drop down as far as you can. Come up. There we go. One more. There we go. What a workout. Good job. No single spots. Kill me every time. Right? Sheer lack of flexibility. <laughs> we gotta work on that. <laughs> Great job today. Good stuff. Good job. Good workout. Whew. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, smash that like button. We'll see you guys next time. Yep. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys.